Howdy folks, I'm Nick Tomacek. I'm sitting here with uh, reporter Tony Adame and uh, we wanted to uh, talk with you a little bit about the actual murder of Lester Wilson that happened in 1940. Tony, talk a little bit about uh, uh, what's going to happen and what we're going to show these folks. Well, this is going to be kind of like an accompanying piece to our, our six-part podcast series, The Sheriff. And what Nick did is, really cool thing is, he went to Crestview and filmed the route of the killers. So we're going to show you from downtown Crestview to the Wilson household and talk about the literal drive they made from there to there. And we're going to explain to you why it's so complicated, this one mile stretch. All right, let's take a look. Sounds good. Nick, tell us what we're looking at right here. We're looking at downtown Crestview. We've got Main Street on the left in the big building, the courthouse. And uh, court records indicate that across the street was the Sunray Cafe where it all began that night. This map is really important because that bottom red dot is where the killers would have started their route at. Now they're following Lester Wilson as he leaves downtown Crestview in his taxi, headed home. Tell us about some other stuff on that map. Now he could have gone one of two ways. He could have gone this way, down this little road right in front of the courthouse, or he could have gone around the courthouse to, to US Highway 90. And this is such a great shot right here because I think this is the way the killers actually went because they would have been the most direct path so to go the other way, you would have to go around downtown, and this way is the way that Lester would have gone and his son would have gone, because it goes right onto Highway 85, which leads to their house. So this is the most likely path. And that's what we're seeing right here, is Nick's seeing us go right over 90, over to US 85, and that's the final stretch of the Wilson's house right there. All right, now right here, tell us what road you're on right here. We're on State Road 85, currently State Road 85. Back then it was called Laurel Hill Highway, and of course they didn't have any Dodge Rams back then. But here we are taking the actual route that the killers took in 1940 up the long drive to the Wilson house. Now we know that there, were, there was more than one car on that route, and they would have had to stop somewhere along there. So they're going to long drives. So they're almost, if you're on that route, you're less than about a minute or two away from, the, from where the Wilsons lived. And this is the final approach to the house right here. It's a great shot by Nick. Where that white mailbox is and the street goes on, that's where the street would have ended in 1940. So it was just a turnaround right there. And there's actually the Wilsons' front porch that Jesse Kaysen walked up and shot Lester Wilson right through that front door you're looking at. And that's the Wilsons' house. It's weird it's still there, isn't it? That is very eerie.